curtains blowing on me. I am going to go to the store just real quick to get Rudy some treats, some snacks. We're training her still, so we ran out of snacks for her. Um, yeah. The neighbor said that he was going to shoot her if she got out of her gate again. So, we're trying to train her to not get out of the gate. And we need treats to do that. So I'm going to go get some treats. She's been learning really well, and she hasn't gotten out of the gate one time, but I want to make sure that she knows for sure, like if we're not watching her, that she's not going to go out of the gate. So, my car is, it stayed out of the carport, and look at it, it rained, and it is completely muddy. It got mud. <laughs> This is mud that splashed up all over the bottom of the car just from sitting here because I didn't put it under the roof over. I just don't want to get too close and hit the other car and not be able to open the door when I get out, so... <laughs> Oops. It is unfortunate that our neighbor said that to us. Um, he basically threatened Hadar when he was outside. And our dog, we were getting our dog because she got out and uh, he yelled and our kids heard everything. So I got them in the house really quickly, but you don't mess with people. You know what I mean? You stay away from them. You don't call the law on them. Um, that's just, it, that's not what you do here. You want to call the law, you'll probably wind up getting killed honestly, or just have your life be very bad for the remainder of you living next to a neighbor. So uh, we don't have anything to do with him. He doesn't talk to us. That was the only time we've ever talked to him. We've talked to the two other neighbors that live next to us, by us, around us, and they're just fine. He's never been to like a meeting in our town. We have a meeting once a year, except for last year because it was... Um, this just past year uh, in January because of COVID, but um, you know, the, the whole town gets together and we pay for things like road, the roads getting fixed after it rains. Anyway, yeah, so that is why like I, I did not call the law on that guy for threatening us or our dog, just because you don't, you don't do things like that here. <laughs> I don't know if it's the same way in other places or if it's not that way in other places, but here you don't do things like that. Um, you stay out of people's way, you stay out of people's business, and you leave them alone. So that is what we're going to do. Uh, just going to go up to the store real quick, get some doggy bones and a little tiny doggy treats just for training purposes. Um, she really likes the little doggy treats we'll just give her one of them when she does something really really good but we're training her to stop at a certain point and that is you know the whole thing going on with the dog is why we're not like showing Rudy very much um, we just don't want to have any issues at all with Rudy because we love Rudy obviously she's part of our family but we don't want it to be a situation we don't want somebody to watch her vlog and be like, I hate that dog. I'm going to, you know, do something bad to that dog. So we're just leaving it out. But yes, Rudy is part of our family. Rudy spends half her time in the house, half of her time out of the house because she's a dog and she likes to run and play. We take her for a walk once a day as long as it's not raining. It did rain today, of course, but she did go for a walk because once it's done raining, the ground is wet and that's fine. She's fine with that. Uh, she has no problems rooting her nose into the dirt and sniffing for things, and she loves to go down by the cows. So, that, it's just a whole bunch of drama for no reason. We don't like drama. We, we literally have no place for it in our life. Um, my family is doing well. 
we're not in any kind of like marital crisis. There is so many weird things since our comments have opened. So many weird things that people have said to us. It's like from outer space, like literally where are you getting any kind of ideas like that. We are doing good. Our family is doing good. My mom, my brother, my dad, they're all doing well. My mom and my brother have COVID. They're fine. They're going to be fine. Um, my brother's probably going to go back to work within the next two weeks when he tests po or negative. When he gets a negative test, he can take that to work and, and get back to work. So that'll be good for him because he is bored out of his mind right now at home. Anyway, I will see you in a little bit. That's interesting. <laughs> like an air plant took off in the roof. Made it home just in time. Not bad. I just realized that. Hi guys, as you can see, our camera broke and our sound is no longer working, so we're, we're gonna have to go buy a new camera. Um, but what Hadar was talking about here was Hurricane Elsa, and we're gonna have Hurricane Elsa, but I don't think it's going to be too much different than the weather that we've been experiencing for the past, I don't know, three or four weeks now. So I have Abigail here with me this morning, and she wants to tell you some of the movies that we just watched. Yeah, yesterday I, I watched Elsa and yesterday and we watched Peter Rabbit too. It was great. Thank you. Yeah, for so what happened on Peter sure. Rabbit? Well, first he started good, but when the, when the farm was all to themselves except for those tomatoes. The skunk tried to eat the tomatoes, but the rabbit didn't want it to. And I loved the Peter Rabbit 2 show. It was great. Thank you for sending that lovely show to me. I think Netflix sent that show to you. How do you know? Because it was on Netflix, I believe. I believe that too. So you and Raphael like playing outside, and Raphael likes playing on the dome, and he likes flipping upside down on his knees. That's what he's talking about. I just like the swing on in the garage. Yes. We have two swings for us to play with. Raphael sometimes always wants to play with the one on the garage. I mean, in the garage. So that's funny, huh? Uh-huh. He's hanging off of Daddy's arm at night. So yeah, sorry about this. Uh, we're leaving here just very shortly to go get a new camera. Hopefully the store will have it. The last time we had to actually search for it, it said that there was one in the store, but they couldn't find it. So I had to go around and, and look in all of the little cubbies underneath and finally someone found it. Abigail has been complaining of her leg hurting and it's in the place where she broke it so I don't know if it's actually like a, a growing pain because she broke it n like above the growth plate so they didn't have to set it exactly perfectly and uh, they did set it pretty good but it's off a little bit in the second x-ray uh, so I think I think it's fine but I think maybe when she jumps up and down and stuff, that it hurts her. So she has been having to take a, a little break. And also it's been raining, so maybe the rain hurts her in the place where she broke her leg. So she does have to take a, a few more breaks when she's doing exercising and stuff. 
But the kids are doing really well and getting all their energy out before bed. So I want to say a big thank you for watching and subscribing and thank you for also leaving a comment in our brand new comment section. And we will see you tomorrow and we hope you have a nice day. <laughs> it was such a pity because I'm a kitty and I ran out into the rain. All the water is flooding down to my trunk. So I stood in this much of water. <laughs> no good deed goes unpunished, does it not?